What is going on, everybody? It is Jamie Shaw here on the Absolute Basketball Experience. And on today's episode of Film Breakdown, we're going to take a look at six foot nine, 2021 prospect Eric Vanderheijen out of Millbrook High School. Eric picked up his first offer in September of last year, which was George Washington. And in the seven months since, he's picked up 12 additional offers and become a bona fide high major prospect. But why? What is it about Eric's game that's so appealing? Here, we're going to look at a video that was uploaded by Millbrook Basketball on January 4th, 2020. If you would, go ahead and look in the video description below. Click on the link and go ahead and subscribe to the Millbrook Basketball page as well. Let's take a look at what Eric does well. Let's take a look at where he's coming along. And let's take this and see why he's at the forefront of high major coaches' minds. But before we jump into it, be sure that you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And be sure to click the like button, the thumbs up on this specific video and give us a comment as to who your favorite basketball program is in college basketball. We would love to hear from you, who you cheer for, who's your team, what school it is that's your favorite in college basketball. Also, if you enjoy this video breakdown, please be sure to share it across your platforms as well. Uh, we, we very much would appreciate that. But without further ado, here is Millbrook Basketball's video titled Eric Vanderheijen, Millbrook High School 2021 on Film Breakdown on the Absolute Basketball Experience with Jamie Shaw. Thank you. All right, here we go, jumping right back into it. You see, starting off with a nice dunk, crowd getting into it. Okay, there we go. Taking the paint, lots of dunks. So you see right off the rip his, uh, his length, and he has some athleticism to him. Really runs the floor well, getting out. Um, good pass. Another beautiful jump shot. If you notice the textbook jump shot, got to his spots, one dribble pull-up shot. Uh, that's a very translatable shot. Throwing the alley-oops. Uh, he's on either end of the alley -oop. another one dribble pull up. That's a really good man coming in off of, off of, off of the movement, uh, catching the ball in stride, getting his base right, knocking down the shots. There he goes, attacking the basket, finishing. Another rim attack, finishing. Good pass. Um, if you see him, they run a lot of stuff through him here too. Uh, he's got very good vision, very good stuff from the high post. They run him as a kind of a trail big, also from the high post run offense through him. Jab step pull up, if you notice that was against Montbird. Another big dunk. Getting the crowd all into it. So that was great stuff coming from the Millbrook basketball page. Uh, uploaded the Eric Vander Hygen uh, Millbrook High School 2021 video. If you would, again, take a look below. Go ahead and subscribe to the Millbrook basketball page and click on the link, watch the full video uh, by itself. But let's take a look at what Eric does, positives and negatives, uh, as, as we kind of break down this film and look into him as a prospect. Uh, positives, what he does incredibly well, he's a shooter. Um, he, he showed his ability to shoot both off the catch and off the bounce here in, in this uh, video. He has a repeatable high release form, a soft touch. He also showed great base and footwork in getting into his shot. If you notice, it's coming around screens, coming off of movement. Uh, he, his, he was always square to the basket with good footwork, getting things ready. His base was always set, ready to release the ball as he caught it off the catch uh, with his feet, you know, appropriate length and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he also showed the ability to attack a closeout off of one and two dribble pull-ups. Uh, he knocked down a couple of them in this video. They look smooth and repeatable. High release point. Uh, every single shot looked the same coming off his hand um, and, and his square shoulders uh, to the basket uh, and everything. The shooting translates uh, is also his vision. His vision was something that was showed in this, uh, in this video, but also something that they really do uh, play with at Millbrook. Uh, he, you can play through him as a, as a play creator, not necessarily off the bounce and stuff, but you can put him at the high post, the top of the key. You can even put him as the wing and run some stuff off of him uh, and have him uh, initiate plays, have him find people uh, on the move um, and, and, and create. Uh, there's a lot of value in that. There's a lot of uh, sex appeal within him being able to do that. And then also his length and straight line athleticism. Uh, he carries over a seven foot wingspan. He's already six foot nine or so uh, with a seven foot one wingspan. There's a possibility that he's still growing. Uh, he's really growing into his body at this point in time. Uh, previously, he was able to dunk and all that kind of stuff, but he wasn't necessarily doing it in games. This junior year that he had at Millbrook, uh, he really implemented that into his game. He was really attacking the basket aggressively on play calls uh, with the backdoor lobs, with, uh, you know, in transition, uh, getting downhill and toward the basket. Um, so th there's a lot of stuff there with his length, his natural frame, and his straight line athleticism uh, to project moving forward. Um, and he comes from a basketball family. Both his parents, I believe, play pro overseas. His brother uh, just finished his freshman year at Bucknell University. Jake, uh, lefty sharpshooter, came out of Ravenscroft High School. 
Um, so there's a lot of basketball family in the family, the blood. There's a basketball acumen that's involved in there. Uh, things that he still is improving on, most notably is his strength. Uh, you know, he's still growing. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's on like a two-inch growth every single year. You know, he's going from 6'6 six, six to 6'7 six, to 6'8. Now he's 6'9 or so. He may still be growing and stuff. Still growing into his body, a young man. So he'll, uh, you know, as the strength continues to come, a lot of this other stuff will really uh, open up. Uh, within his game. Also, if you notice within this film, a lot of the stuff is generated outside of the paint. Um, most of the stuff is done on the perimeter, uh, the, the outside shooting and stuff. Uh, there were a couple times when he was attacking the rim. Uh, if he would more consistently play within the paint, which you started to see him do as the season progressed, uh, playing at Millbrook, but if, you, if he plays more consistently in the paint, more consistently rebounding, more consistently attacking the rim and, and, and get crafty at the basket, but also finishing going up over people um, and I think that may be something that comes more um, as his strength develops, his confidence will develop as well. Um, and I think that's something that, you know, as last year continued to progress through, he started getting in the paint more, started doing more things in the paint. Uh, he's already got natural uh, IQ in the passing lanes on defense um, and all that kind of stuff. And, and um, this is not a good or bad it'll come as he continues to develop his off the bounce. I'd like to see him tighten things up a little bit more off the bounce to be able to create more, uh, uh, you know, as, as he plays, as he plays a more perimeter combo forward type of positioning, um, he's going to need to tighten up, be able to create off the bounce a little bit more. Like to see, like to see him one move downhill to the basket, uh, that type of thing. But overall, looking at him forward, um, there is a ton to like within his game. Uh, his ability to prove, pull gravity on the perimeter is something that translates immediately. His jump shot, his ability to create his jump shot, his understanding of his spots and his footwork and his balance to get into his shots is something that translates immediately right now to the next level. Um, playing for a team, uh, playing for a program that's heavy pick and roll or playing the team that spreads with four out, one in, or even five out a lot of times running some motion stuff is somewhere that he could really thrive at and really take advantage of what he does very well. Also, his, his, his court IQ and his vision, uh, his ability to be played through, uh, his ability to find teammates and create um, passing opportunities and create angles uh, in plays is something that is it's very advantageous as well uh, that translates to the next level. And as he continues to fill out, uh, you can see his game continuing to take another level. A lot of these things that we talked about that he is continuing to improve, are things that are predicated around strength and confidence within that. Um, so as he continues to get stronger, as he continues to fill out in his body and become, uh, you know, just a big, you know, big, big guy getting strength, um, a lot of this stuff, him being in the pain, a lot of this stuff will, will continue to grow. And it's very easy to see as to why his recruitment is taking a power five level type of recruiting. His last offers that he's picked up, they're Ole Miss, it's Boston College, it's Marquette, it's Cincinnati, it's East Carolina. It's easy to see as to why he's, his recruitment is taking a power five type of, of look because he has the very translatable stuff that goes immediately. He's also somebody who this summer could have really taken a step up into the national rankings. However, with them not playing and being quarantined uh, with the COVID-19 coronavirus stuff this summer, uh, he's not going to be able to get out and play in front of these national scouts and all that kind of stuff. However, it would not surprise uh, being, uh, you know, on the team wall team when we do get back, being with Millbrook High School, who's a, you know, national notarized team. Uh, when we do come back from these quarantine, it would not surprise to see him jump into some top 150 type of rankings and all that kind of stuff as we continue to move forward. There's a lot to like here. But that is our film breakdown on Eric Vanderheijen. Uh, that is uh, one of the prospects within uh, the state of North Carolina at Millbrook High School uh, to keep an eye on as it continues to move forward and continues to grow in the 2021 class. Um, but that wraps things up again in the, uh, in the description below. Um, Millbrook basketball video, uh, Eric Vanderheide in Millbrook High School 2021. The link is there. Go ahead and subscribe to them. If you would, go ahead and click on the video and watch it as well. But – until next time, I am Jamie Shaw on the Absolute Basketball Experience Film Breakdown. Thank you guys very much. And there you have it, everybody. The Absolute Basketball Experience Film Breakdown with Eric Vanderheijen of Millbrook High School. 
Uh, hope you guys enjoyed everything. Uh, hope you guys uh, really took to as to what Eric is as a player, what he brings to the table, and what his future looks like uh, as he continues to develop. Uh, we ask, uh, well, first off, we want to thank all the people that are on the front line, the people that are still out there, essential workers that are still going to work right now um, and still, still doing things, um, helping everybody uh, try to keep as normal as possible. We want to thank you very much for going to work every day, and we want to thank you very much um, uh, for, for, for staying the course for all of us that are staying at home. Also, I ask all of us that are staying at home, please be doing your part to flatten this curve, washing your hands, social distancing, uh, staying at home when you don't need to go out, et cetera, et cetera. This is all of us together uh, trying to do this to, to, to flatten it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, please go ahead and like this video, give it a thumbs up. We want to hear in the comments below who your favorite NCAA college basketball program is. Uh, very eager to hear from all that from you. And if, and if you enjoyed this film breakdown, please be sure to share it across your platforms as well. But until next time, I am Jamie Shaw on the Bas Absolute Basketball Experience Film Breakdown. Thank you guys very much for tuning in.